Hello, everybody. And there he is, Devontae Parker, the newest eagle. We are here for another emergency pod. Bo Wolf, Zach Berman, and those of you who were with us at the end of today's show, you have been waiting with bated breath. There was a bit of a cliffhanger at the end of the episode, wondering what was it that Zach had to Google that he instantly regretted. And uh, now we have joined you to be able to deliver that answer. Zach, what was it? We should talk about the news first. Uh, but no, it was Joe Cal mentioned, was it called hentai? I don't know, something henty. I didn't know what it was. Uh, I'm sorry that I Googled it. And uh, that's the end of that story. What did you learn? Let's talk about them. Nothing. I quickly, yeah, I quickly <laughs> turn off X out the screen. Yes. Uh, but let's, let's get to, let's get to the Eagles news. Uh, all right. Now, before we get to Devontae Parker, the other news that has dropped recently, I'm sorry. Jeremy Chin, your boy, is going to the Washington Commanders. Dan Quinn, a man who knows a little something about defense, he wants to use the versatile yeah. chess piece of Jeremy Qu uh, Jeremy Chin. The e Quinn and Chin, that's interesting. Uh, Zach, how are you feeling? Well, I said going into the free agency that I didn't think he was a scheme fit for the Eagles. And certainly you Dan Quinn both ways. You know. No, I, that's literally what I said. And Dan Quinn credit to Dan Quinn, uh, because you look at players like Keanu Neal players, like, um, like J Ron curse. He's done a really good job of these hybrid safety linebacker types and turning them into productive players. And I imagine oh that's what his plan is with Jeremy chin. Uh, if you just go based on Carolina's defense last year, which is based off of the Vic Fangio tree, Jeremy Chin was not a fit there. So with what the Eagles are looking for at safety or what we speculate or expect the Eagles to look for at safety, Jeremy Chin didn't necessarily fit there. Maybe as a line, I know the front office liked him, right? But in free agency, like we said, you sign players for the scheme you have and Chin wouldn't really a fit in the scheme. Okay, well, uh, as for wide receiver, Zach, we speculated that maybe the Eagles would try to get a little sneaky. You know, maybe they could play a trick on opposing defenses by signing Noah Brown, and then you've got two wide receivers named Brown, and the defense was all uh, all a flutter. They don't know what to do. Which yeah. one should we cover? The Eagles took it in a different direction and a direction that I feel like is not going to be as successful as a gambit, and that is they've added a Devontae to join Devontae right. Smith. Devontae Parker is here. What can you tell us? about the newest Eagle. Well, in, in like 2020, this would have been a great signing, right? Or 2019. That's um, also debatable, but. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Devonte Parker is entering year 10 in the NFL. Uh, he hasn't been particularly productive with new England. The Eagles are, are getting him uh, on the cheap because new England's picking up a part of the salary here. So the Eagles will only really have to, only really have to pay him the veteran minimum. So it's not costing you anything. I don't necessarily know what he's adding. You're, I mean, yeah, I do know what he's adding. He's adding size, like, like a, an experienced outside receiver can win contested catches. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was a <laughs> wow. little more. I was a little more I bullish. Feel like this is the year. lowest I've ever heard you on anybody. <laughs> I was a little more bullish last year on the Julio Jones signing. Uh, look, I, if 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 you're going into this season and you're like Devonte Parker's a depth piece for you. That's fine. But, but the reality is your fourth or fifth receiver is going to have to play special teams. Right. And, and that's not really what, what Parker does. So yeah, I, I uh, I mean, I'm kind of unmoved by the signing. Um, I really, you know, you, you not surprised when I say this, I liked them coming out of Louisville. That was 10 years ago. Uh, I liked him when he was with Miami. He had that thousand yard season, but yeah, th this is one of those where I'm like, really now, it, as I said, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, it's just a veteran minimum. So it's, it's like a no risk signing, but I have very little expectations about Devonte Parker. You have done something unbelievable here, Zach, What's in that, that you have, you have painted me into the corner of having to defend <laughs> Dev Devontae Parker. For you to You're say not you to were, agree with me, Bo. For you to say that you were more excited about the Julio Jones signing. Yeah. Julio Jones, over the past three years, Zach, 
has 807 combined receiving yards. 434, 299, 74. Devontae Parker has been better than that in every single one of those years. 515, 539, 394. Like, we're going to get to the, the profile of player he is, but don't don't bring me Julio Jones and the whiff, the whiff of Canton as mattering in relation to Devontae Parker, who is also old and 31 years old, but at least, like, can still run a hundred yards without, you know, having to call over the trainers. I mean, I, I, I think we are missing the point here. If we're spending this uh, debating Devonte Parker versus Julio Jones, right? Um, By the way, is that a gold microphone you have? No, it's a silver for, microphone. For whatever it's, reason, it, the lighting makes it look yeah, very yeah, it's, fancy. It's the lighting back when in our former show, I, I, made sure that my home office was all um, like the lighting and everything was good for regular pods. And now we only use this room for emergency pods and all my writing. Right. But. Uh, so yeah, you were so on the record as, as skeptical that Devonte Parker is going to come. Can you, can you repeat that question? I mean, he's, uh, <laughs> you don't uh, think he's coming. <laughs> he's signing with the Eagles. Yes. He's signing with, the Eagles. Okay, um, a couple you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna beat me into saying I, there's probably already is a drop in this show that I didn't realize. You're not gonna beat me into saying something. Okay, I have two. I have two separate lines of thought on Devonte Parker here. Um, yes, and it will not surprise you that both of them are are pushing back on the narratives that are are being espoused. One is this idea that um, this is like a fully guaranteed contract that the Eagles are signing. Uh, that like as it's being reported. Yeah, that, like on behalf of the agent doesn't make any sense to me. No. I would imagine that there is there are no guarantees or maybe like very small guarantees. I don't even think that they're guaranteeing the, the veteran minimum here. Like that would be so that would be a surprise to me. I do not think that Devontae Parker is guaranteed of being on the team week one. Like, well, no, my interpretation of, uh, of, of this is that he's guaranteed that money from New England. Right. 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 Yeah, but it so, says the Eagles are, but, but, but there have been reports. I think Shetter said like the Eagles are on the hook for, you know, 1.5 or whatever it is. Yeah. That's it. the salary they would pay him. If he makes yeah. the roster. If, if he I'm, makes the roster. Yeah. I am saying it's being presented as like yeah. the Eagles are guaranteeing him that money. I think he is guaranteed uh, yeah. that money because he's going to get it, but I don't yeah, think that, exactly yeah. he, the Eagles aren't guaranteeing it. Um, I, I think there is every expectation that Devontae Parker may not be on the team. Um, like if he shows up to camp and doesn't have his legs anymore. Yeah. Um, there's like absolutely there there are no guarantees for him to be on this roster. I actually think it's it's probably the fact that Devontae Parker is the guy that they have signed in what is admittedly a very, very, very weak group of wide receiver free agents is probably a good supporting case for your expectation that the they're gonna draft a wide receiver in the first three picks. Yeah. Um I still think they might wait a little bit longer, but Devontae Parker is is on the roster to be beaten out by somebody. The Eagles are stacking the deck against him. You might say, oh, good. On the good, flip uh, side, call back. the uh, the the thing that you will see get thrown around right now. Uh, I know it was a Warren Sharp tweet uh, that like Devonte Parker was dead last in the league among all qualifying wide receivers in separation over each of the past four seasons. That is true, but that is actually like that tells you the kind of player that he is, um, and the skill set that he brings to the table which is he is good at contested catches, right? Like yeah, they throw him the ball when he's covered because he can still catch the ball. Yeah. Um, that is what he is good at. So you look at even just over the last two years when he was playing on a terrible Patriots offense of 95 qualifying wide receivers, 10th uh, in air yards per target. So this is a guy, and, and he's also, uh, I think, third or fourth lowest among all of those wide receivers in slot percentage. So this is a guy who lines up on the outside, and runs down the field. And if you think of it as he's always covered and he's never open, but he's still, you know, 57th of 95 of those guys in reception rate, that means that he is doing a pretty good job catching the balls that are difficult to catch. Uh, he's 56th in yards per route run, which is grouping him with guys like Brandon Cooks and Gabe Davis and Curtis Samuel and Marquise Brown. Uh, in terms of yards per target. So when he's actually thrown the ball, he was 17th of those 95 wide receivers with at least 50 catches over the past two years. So I think he is okay. He is rosterable. Um, now, he's 31 years old. I would be pretty surprised if he's bringing much to the table. 
but I think if he's on the roster, if he makes the roster, I would expect him to be more productive than Julio Jones was. Uh, I think he can bring a little bit something to the table. What is interesting to me about the uh, the Eagles going after him, and you know, again, going after him is 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 like a pretty low level here. They're not on the hook for anything. I think is that they're going after someone who is not a a slot capable yeah. guy. That they are, you know, if he if Devonte Parker if things go wrong and he is the number three receiver. That means that maybe Devonte Smith is going to be spending a little bit more time in the slot because that is not a thing that Devonte Parker does. Good points. Good po- I'm like I'm, I'm not going to try to talk Eagles fans into this one. I, I, I'm not like going to try People to wrap up like I like the guy. Like the, the somebody was waiting in the chat before I said this has ruined free agency to me. Uh, I mean, we would get just... more out of playing paying Zach forty five dollars an hour. Uh, like, I had like, a friend, I, one of my good friends from college, who was a Patriots fan. Uh, texted me, uh, just let Eagles fans know that Devontae Parker is terrible. Um, oh no, sorry, that he blows. Um, uh, oh. so yeah, yeah people I, hate I mean, Devontae I, Parker. Yeah, at like the only thing I can think of is that you know, Matt Patricia was talking about the great offenses that he ran in 2022 and was like, and we had Devontae Parker out there. And uh, actually, that's a that's a good that's a good theory because I actually think it went the other way. I think oh, okay. Matt Patricia got to Philadelphia and was like, yeah, you know, my offense would have been a lot better, but I had this guy, Devontae Parker, who stunk. <laughs> and I and like, I had to keep playing him. And that was really the yeah. reason that my offense was bad. And so everything goes wrong for the Eagles with, with Matt Patricia in Philadelphia. And they think to themselves, wait a second, if he was lying to us about everything, <laughs> yeah. maybe we should give this Devontae yeah. Parker guy a shot. Yeah. Look, I, I don't want to be, um, I, I don't want to be like tongue in cheek here because something that actually Jim Schwartz always emphasized to me. Well, I say to me like him and I had these long conversations, but uh, Jim and Schwartz had, uh, I'm sorry, Jim Schwartz had like great respect for 10 year pros that that was kind of something that he always said that the last 10 years in the, in the NFL, it doesn't just take talent. It takes like a degree of professionalism. And like, there's, there's something to be said about lasting 10 years in, in the NFL. I just don't, uh, this signing doesn't do anything. Like if if we degrading the moves on 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 this one tonight, I'll I'll just say, yeah. I mean it's it's a roster body. If he gives you some contested catchability as your fourth receiver, okay, you're not making any offensive plans around Devontae Parker, and if you are, that's problematic. Like the Patriots' offense was, uh, it was really bad these past two years, and Devontae Parker didn't it wasn't make it Devontae better. Parker's fault. <laughs> No, but I, I, my my point is is that I don't think I I don't think the Eagles. I, I, it would surprise me if the Eagles were putting their 2024 plans together, and they're in the room right now, and they're like, "All right, we have Devonte Parker, right?" Uh, like this to me well, is, of course, but that's the whole point is that he he's yeah. here to to uh, fill exactly. in a spot yeah. until somebody else comes along. Exactly. He, I mean, he's a better player than Quez Watkins, even if he's 31 years old. Um, and he's yeah. a he's, different he's, player, but yeah, he's probably a better player than Alameda Zacchaeus. And if Jalen Hurts will throw him the ball three times a game when he's on the field, that makes him a better player. Um, yeah, well, one I, thing I, I, I well, can't well, believe I, that when this that when this uh this news broke and I was like, oh, Devontae Parker, now I have to be the Devontae Parker guy. <laughs> hey, you're the Devontae Parker guy. I mean, <laughs> you are allowed to uh, to uh, to agree with me. You don't have to disagree with me on everything. But well, I'm, um, not, I'm not disagreeing with you just yeah. to disagree with you. I just yeah, I no, think no, I like know. he's fine, and they're 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 not on the hook for anything here. Yeah, and 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 the one thing that I, I will add, and and you made this this point about how he's not a slot guy. One thing that I I did hear last year was the Eagles really didn't have a backup for AJ Brown. Like if AJ Brown's been very durable for the Eagles these past two years. I know he he missed the playoff game, but overall he he's been durable. But if if AJ Brown missed time, the Eagles don't have that traditional X receiver right on the outside. And and I I think uh, you know Devonte Parker at least gives you use Bo's word a facsimile uh, of facsimile. facsimile. Sorry, not a face smile though. Um, yeah. Of of someone who who has filled that role and can be like, he can, he can win contested catches, big body. That's fine. I, I'm not, uh, again, I'm nonplussed. Is that the word? Nonplussed. Yeah. I that's think that's right. totally reasonable. And also, you know, just looking at his stats, like his yards per catch went from 17.4 in 2022 to 11.9 in 2023. 
and his catch rate uh, dropped. And like, there's a chance that like the wheels have just totally come off. He's got nothing left in his legs. Again, I don't think that the Eagles are committing anything here. I just think that this is fine box checking business. Yeah, fair enough. I'm, I'm with you there. I mean, it's, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to be paying Darnell Mooney $13 million, right? So if you want a guy in the building, this is, this is totally fine. And you see what else comes along. Yeah. And the draft is when they'll see when that comes along. Yeah. I think that's totally reasonable now. Okay. Two other things that I want to get to uh, in this uh, emergency pod, Zach. The first is uh, a report from Jeff McClain that uh, Josh Sweat, he, as he says, is more expendable than Hassan Reddick. The Eagles are trying to trade both. And if they can't move the former, I wouldn't be surprised if he was just released. What do you make of this? Well, that would be poor roster management from, from my perspective. And uh, look, like who's, I, uh, who's cereal did Josh Sweat pee, Josh Sweat pee in? Yeah, I mean, the only... If there's like internally thought that Josh Sweat was problematic at the end of the year or something like that, but even still, like this is what could he have done? That's that's what I'm saying. In what world do they just cut, uh, cut like um, productive 26 year old, you know, you know, 27 year old pass rushers? It it just doesn't it doesn't add up to me. Uh, so yeah, that 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 would really surprise me. I mean. You know, it's not like apples for apples, but I mean, Howie Roseman. I remember when when the Eagles just cut Deshaun Jackson for nothing. He was like, uh, he couldn't believe it, right? You know, I I mean, he was technically the GM at the time, but that was kind of a Chip Kelly motivated decision. Uh, I can't see the now. Look, Jeff is an outstanding reporter, and Jeff Jeff would not report something that that is not like like coming from a legit place. Um, so. I'm not gonna say I dis. I'm not gonna disagree with Jeff's reporting. I'm gonna dis disagree well, with. Obviously, Eagles he's hearing that. Yeah, yeah I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna disagree with Eagles' logic here. Like, if that happens, it's just poor roster management uh, from my perspective here. I mean, you would. It looks like just on over the cap. Like, if you were gonna do that, you would have. You would have to designate him as a post June one mm -hmm. cut, and it would be. Uh, I mean, it would save four point three million dollars against the cap, and you would be eating a, about five million dollars of dead money, and you'd be pushing a lot. Yeah. to the future but he's not a bad player like yeah what, are we, what player. are we doing here like I, exactly so yeah it just strikes me it strikes me as really odd um i mean it, if that were to be the case there would have to be more to the story yeah seriously i mean we need to see what what, what did he do build what? build howie a bad computer <laughs> I mean, he's really good at building computers, but no, I, I, this, uh, let's, let's see what happens with the Josh Sweat thing. I, if, if the Eagles have traded far worse players for something. So good point. Yeah. Uh, all right. Last thing I want to talk about is, uh, you know, we, we talked about Jeremy Chin, but the, the linebackers continue to come off the board. Patrick Queen signs. My guy, Josie Jewell. He's not even my guy. You've made him my guy. Yeah. yeah uh, you, he's, he's, he's your type. That's for sure. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Got a fun name? Yeah, like a 29 year old linebacker. Yeah. So, anyways, go on. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, I mean, the guys who are left Jerome Baker, who we have talked about, the winner of yeah. Quackatology, uh, Willie Gay, Devin White, Tyrell Dodson. That's about it. Cody Barton, if you're nasty. Um, why do you keep saying Cody Barton? I don't know. I, I said it the second Jordan. time because I said it the first time. Um, yeah. Because I don't think he's very good. And if he was the one okay. guy they signed, then that would be yeah. pretty disappointing. Um, maybe there are trade targets. I kind of let's let's just let's get this Josh Sweat, uh, Ernest Jones deal done and really make me look like a a, a sage. That that would be impressive uh, if 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 that occurs. Like there has to be a player for player deal you can do for Sweat. I can't imagine. The league is so sour on Josh Sweat that you have to release him. It just this strikes me as very odd right now. Um, yeah, so I uh, let's let's see what happens there. But the, but the linebacker market, a lot of these linebackers have have gotten paid. Um, there are still decent linebackers out there. Perhaps the Eagles are letting the market come to them. Perhaps there's a, there's a trade. I still think, and I saw this reported maybe by Daniel Jeremiah, and it's 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 what I said yesterday in my predictions that. I think the Eagles trade for a D back. Like I think the Eagles trade for a corner, but um, 
at safety and linebacker still think they signed somebody. Uh, Jerome Baker makes sense from the fit in Fangio's scheme and the experience with Fangio. We said Devin White kind of has a bit how of Howie-ish to him. Um, but not a Fangio-ish. Not a no. Fangio-ish. Yeah, yeah. Howie-ish. Yeah. Still some, there's still some good safeties on. That's the how I feel about Willie Gay too. Like I can see how we like Willie Gay. I do not think that Vic Fangio is going to like Willie Gay. Yeah, um, I would agree with you there. I would agree with you there. Okay, what are you distracted by? No, I I, I was going to say uh, if the Eagles really want to get kind of um, interesting here. Oh, yeah. I mean, they could sign Isaiah Simmons. Say, <laughs> I wanted to see what your reaction would be if I said that. They want to be bad. <laughs> no, they want to be versatile. Again, also they want, they not a, not not a, a Fangio player in my mind, but exactly, yeah, yeah. No, I was I was joking there. No, I I think of of those guys, I think Jerome Baker makes the most sense for the reasons that we picked him in in, in Quackatology, young, still or like still in his prime, experiencing in 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 the scheme, uh, you know, good athlete. Um, productive player that's that's something that i would be curious about let's say let's let's call it over the next 24 hours the eagles sign cj gardner johnson and jerome baker and they trade josh sweat for a fourth round pick how would you grade the first three days of the league here i would say they didn't get enough from josh sweat although they're probably getting what what the market's dictating right um how would i rate it i would probably be unmoved by that uh, although i I would like Garner Johnson. I like Bryce Huff. And I, I said they're, that they're going to go after, you know, 26, 20, you know, core players uh, on D, like guys they're going to have for three, four years on defense or two, three years on defense. That, yeah. I, but I, I would still say that it's probably not the way I would have approached this. I would have wanted more draft capital. If, if you're moving sweat and you're bringing in Huff, I would have wanted more draft capital to to, to do that. Um, I would still need to see what they do at corner. Um, I would like the CJ Gardner Johnson thing. You get competent play at safety. You upgrade. Oh, I'm sorry, at linebacker there. You you upgrade a running back, but I, I still wouldn't think that's that's enough. And the Devontae Parker signing wouldn't do anything for me either. So, Jeez, you yeah. you are yeah. crushing this poor guy. <laughs> I mean, it's, the it's stick to itiveness of this guy lasts in the league 10 years as a first round pick who was pretty underwhelming, but still, that's what I, re- that's what I, I respect. That. I know, I respect but you, that. You, you can't say you respect it, but then talk him down to his face. Actions matter. I thought I said I'm unmoved by the signing. I'm unmoved by the signing. I'm not like, uh, I'm not ripping on him. I thought, I mean, it seems to me like you're saying like the Eagles should fold the franchise at this point for that's, daring to to spend the veteran minimum of on Devontae Parker. That is not at all what I am suggesting. Um, but the Eagles did make two other moves today. We mentioned, we I broke into your monologue earlier with the Braden Mann news, and that is official. Uh, and then the Eagles brought back Rick Lovato. Mm. Uh, Rick Lovato won the four players remaining from the two, Super Bowl team in, in 2017. Uh, he was number one on Boat Wolf's list on uh, Flu World Order. Now you look and this up. I just re- I just remember because I I had AJ and I was like, who has a better chance of being on the uh, team yes. than AJ? And you're like Lovato, and I was like, uh, okay, I suppose so. <laughs> so yeah, the Eagles bring back Lovato. So but, I have it here uh, actually. I can I can run us down real quick. Okay. Uh, so I I had Lov- Lovato is back. That's a one for me and a two for you. So a one point uh, difference in my favor. If we presume that AJ Brown is going to be on the week one roster, then we can call it a wash. Uh, Braden Mann, you had as three, I had as five. But Brandon Graham, I had as three, and you had as five. So again, we remain uh, deadlocked. Jack Stoll, I had as four, you had as six. Uh, Jason Kelsey, I had as more likely to be back than than you did. So six eight, but still no no blood of the guys who have been re-signed. It's I believe it's only Albert O. Which gives me a three point edge, twenty one to twenty four. Well, no, Fletcher uh, Cox. I was I was more confident Fletcher wouldn't return than you were. You were, but but those points don't count because he's not here. But you have you have more points on the table but oh, in terms gotcha. of the guys okay. who have actually resigned. Understood. Okay, I am okay. three points ahead of you. Yeah, you yeah you you were more confident in his retirement than okay. I was. Same with Kelsey. 
Um, I was more confident in Avante Maddox's return than you were. So you you have uh, potentially some points coming to you, but it has not it has not happened yet. We were really we were weirdly high on Devin Allen, huh? <laughs> we just thought maybe they would bring back. him back. Right? Yeah, well, yeah. because he's one who only if he's on the roster at any point over the course of the exactly. season. Exactly. So yeah, yeah, I still I guess I stand by that, question. but it is it stands out yeah. as funny. Yeah, all right. Funny. Uh, let's let's wrap this bad boy up, Zach, because uh, and we could be back in two hours with the Josh Sweat move. We could so. be back in eight minutes. Oh, um, yeah, we have a super chat. Super chat. Bo and Zach are the goats. By the way, Bo, who is the goat eagle? Christian Ellis, Reggie Brown, or Matt Ware? Interesting troika that you come up with there. Uh, I would, I mean, of the of the choices, I'd have to go Christian Ellis, Chris. But uh, as a Chris yourself, you need to know that Christian Ellis has a second S in it. So. Show some love. I think we'll be uh, all about Christian's younger brother, I believe Jonah, who is in the draft class this year. Yes. Not, yeah, he has a brother, Noah. He has, uh, on the Eagles. who is on the Eagles. Yes. He's a brother, Caden, who is on the, Fa still on the Falcons. Yes. And then, uh, and then Jonah uh, coming out of Utah this year. Good, good job by you, Zach, playing that straight and not stepping in it. I appreciate that. You have uh, learned over the years. Good job by you. Thank you. Um, and thank you for the kind words, Chris. So uh, we'll wrap this bad boy up. Um, apologies to uh, everybody for being sort of brought down by Zach's negativity on Devontae <laughs> Parker. Uh, I think you can understand that the Jeremy Chin signing elsewhere has sort of affected his mood, but that's okay. We still love it's him. It's not that at all. <laughs> it's not that at all. I, if, hey, Devontae, if you're watching, I'm just – I just can't – I can't tell the fan base, like, all right, book your – Tickets to New Orleans. Devontae Parker is here, right? I don't even know if Devontae Parker's going to be going to Brazil with the team. I I respect the career that he's had. I liked him coming out of Louisville. I liked him uh, for some time with the Dolphins. I am unmoved by signing Devontae Parker at this stage of his career in March. But also, it's a no risk signing. If he turns a if he gets in that time machine and he's the Devontae Parker from five years ago, terrific for the Eagles. But I am skeptical that's going to occur. Okay. Uh, thanks to everybody for watching this uh, Bad Boy Live and everybody who's listening and watching after the fact. We will be back whenever there is Eagles news. If there isn't, we'll be back at noon on Wednesday. We look forward to that. And uh, that'll do it. Thank you to Julia. Thanks to everybody for watching and listening. Thanks to Zach. And as always, we love you. <laughs> Y'all silly like the mayor. 